Recently, I've been looking at the Random Unfill Houdini plugin and took a peek at the, the Render Man Challenge. As part of the assets that they supply for people to play around with and render, um, they've got some speed tree assets. They've got a few trees that they've supplied um, and then the conversion plugins, um, which is a, a Houdini OTLs. The speed tree plugin is super cool in that it will load the tree in for you um, and, and create mantra uh, render shaders. Um, but I, obviously I want to try this with RenderMan. Um, so I built a little script that will actually take the, the Metro shaders, convert them to RenderMan shaders, um, and then apply them. Um, and I thought I would share that. So basically, you know, what I would cover here in this little video is um, how to actually install this OTL, which is pretty simple. It's basically a copy. Um, and then we're going to have to quickly go over how to convert um, the supply textures to random and TEX, and then how to create a basic shelf tool. We will place within that tool the code that I will supply uh, as a link below. And then we'll just do a quick run through on you know, how, that, how that tool then works um, and where you might be able to customize it. Um, so first off, um, installing the OTL seriously is as simple as once you have these assets down, um, hop over into the conversion plugins, Houdini, and then just grab these two files um, and literally just copy those into, if you run a Windows um, Windows 10 machine, um, username, documents, uh, Houdini 18, uh, OTLs. Um, that will obviously be different for Mac and Linux, um, but information on how to do that is not that hard to find. So once you've done that, you can literally just fire up Houdini um, and the OTLs will be present. So if you hit tab and speed tree, um, you can see the, the speed tree importer uh, is here ready to go. So if you place one of these guys down, uh, I'm going to choose this Japanese maple. It looks pretty cool. Um, double click that guy and then it will give you options here um, to load it in as speed tree principled. Select that guy, click accept. So once that drops everything down, you've got your tree, um, you've got a subnet at the object level and then inside you have the file load, a whole bunch of groups um, and then the, the material assignment down here um, and then in this little uh, material shop network dive inside uh, if you lay these guys out these are all the principal shaders um, assigning all the textures that kind of business initially they're they're in pnt format um, render man requires .tex it's super simple to do this um, there's a chain uh, within within houdini um, that is super handy you just pick the directory where the, the image files exist um, and you hit select folder. And I've already converted these guys, so I've got lots of green ticks, um, but essentially this will take a minute to, to run through and um, convert all those files, uh, all the PNGs um, or whatever they are and convert them to .tex. Um, and if you if we take a look at that directory, you can see here we've got you know dark not bark png and dark not bark png .tex. So with that done, uh, we need to create the shelf tool then, um, and essentially grab the code that I created uh, and drop it inside there, and then and then we'll be able to start playing with it. So I have uh, two shelf tools here uh, that I've created. So so basically it's a two step process. This will convert the textures. Um, this will apply the textures and uh, actually. Um, optionally uh, take all that information to LOPS as well, so you can start rendering in LOPS. Um, so to create a shelf tool, uh, if you don't know how to do that, uh, it's again, it's super, super simple. You can even create a new shelf tab. Um, so you just go new shelf, um, tools, however you want to call this, tools, tab, you can have a new shelf, and then to create a new tool, just go new tool, and call this, whatever you want to call it, blah, blah, blah. Um, pick a really cool icon because that's lots of fun. Accept, and then you've got a tool and a button. Um, so if you right click that, you can edit tool, and this area called script. What we're going to do is put a Python script. So the link below will take you to this GitHub page that I've set up um, just for this. Um, and first of all, you probably want to just grab the speed tree that to our man, copy. Um, and then in your new tool, um, call this something like 
convert materials and paste the script. Click accept. That's ready to go. Another new tool page, speed tree link. Grab this code, copy that, paste that, speed tree link, accept. And that's literally it. Um, pick some nice icons because seriously, I, I really hate these ones. So if you look at the tool that I've already created, um, this guy, this is the Python script that will go through one by one of the selected textures and, and convert them to random air. Um, and this script goes through, uh, changes all the, the material lookups, um, and then, and then dumps it into lops as well. Uh, and I'll show you now how that works. So basically all you need to do to begin with, uh, select these guys here, hit this button. It will, if you've already current, uh, converted or, or not converted, um, it's, it's kind of irrelevant to this stage. I mean, it's, it's cleaner if, you, if you've done it already. Uh, but what this essentially will do is when it creates the, the random end shaders, it will plug in um, .tex at the end, just so it will look at your new .tex files, or you, you can just cancel this if this is not what you want to do. Um, but generally, I would say, yes, you definitely want to click OK goes through um, and then at the mat level, you can see it's created the random and equivalents of those shaders. Um, and you can actually dive inside and, and see where everything uh, is plugged in. Um, and then we now have reference to these files uh, .tex. So, so once you're in the object level, um, essentially what we need to do now is select the output material node and you can see in here that this is still referencing the original um, principal shader, uh, the metric principal shader parts. So select that guy. Once we once we click this button, what it's going to do essentially is basically just strip the string uh, of this material path um, and replace it with mat. It, it's super simple. Uh, but then on top of that, uh, it'll optionally uh, copy all the new random end shaders into lops um, and then set it up for, for rendering straight away in there too. Uh, so if you click this guy, do lops import two? Yes, please. It's cooking. Okay, so it's dropped us straight over into lops. Um, you can see the tree that's imported with the sop import points directly to directly to the wrangle that was placed at the end of the network um, once we ran the tool. That wrangle basically just takes all the groups. Um, sets up the, the path attributes uh, required to um, set up appropriate layering uh, within LOPS uh, and USD. Um, so if we now go USD, single tree, you can see here it's actually placed them um, by the groups into the tree. And also that means uh, that once we look at our Material library node, all the references are pointing inside and we've got these guys copied over. And there essentially we can use the groups then to, to apply those materials to those particular prims. Uh, and then if you if you switch to the render man delegate, you can see all textures are applied. It's that simple. Also, if you hop back to object level uh, and if we drop down random end ROP, uh, jump back to object level, quickly put down a camera and then environment light, happy hour render. There we go. Traders, textures, ready to go. And so one thing to note about the, the shaders that um, I'm copying from Mantra Shaders is essentially it, it takes the textures um, and then some sort of preset values that I've set up, but it's not, <laughs> by no means have I 
I've certainly not looked at um, and made sure that um, all the settings are perfectly set for how a leaf would look, um, how the bark would look. Um, essentially, it's simply it's simply wiring and everything that you would need. Um, so feel free, you know, please don't consider this to be a tool that's going to set you up for render, press go, um, and then you're done. It, it's certainly just like a, it's a setup tool. It will get you in a good spot um, to go and adjust these settings yourself. Um, but on that note, if you would like the script to be more tailored to how you would like the look to be, how, would, how you'd like these shaders to be created and what settings you'd like created by default, um, basically you can jump inside and you can see that this section is copying the, the texture for the color map. Um, and then we're setting these file name parameters. Um, also, there's some rules here suggesting that, you know, if it is a leaf, we want the diffuse double-sided um, parameter to be set to one, so turned on, um, and this transmit gain to 0 0.5. So essentially what you can do is you can set attributes, or you can set parameters, I should say, um, using this. So here's the transmit gain here. So let's say you wanted to uh, set layer thickness, for instance, um, to whatever number. Um, all you would have to do is essentially copy this guy I know what the name of that parameter was it is clear coat thickness type in clear coat thickness set to whatever you want it to be 